everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiana and today I'm filming an unboxing. So this is the March Illumicrate box and the theme for this month is a life of its own. And I'm just going to dive right in because I'm so excited for this box. So not much of a sneak peek there, but I am, as per usual, going to pop the box off to the side and pick out things at random to show you guys, starting with the spoiler card, of course. This is what it looks like, and I have already guessed what the book in this box is going to be based off of the artwork on this. It's a little bit of a giveaway, but I'm not mad about it at all. I'm so excited to see the book in this box, and it is partly why I'm so excited. But the first item I see says exclusive mug on the box, and I've obviously never had an Illumicrate mug before because I've only just become a subscriber for this company so I'm very excited. It says on the box we do bones as you can see there and it is designed by Rosie Thorns 88 exclusively for Illumicrate. So I have gotten into the box. The mug is in some bubble wrap so let's just take that off and have a look and wow. Oh I believe that this is inspired by Gideon the Ninth just from the artwork alone because the characters on here look like the characters on the front cover of the books. Right I'm gonna try and show you the designs as best as I can can but my camera doesn't want to focus today so we'll see how it goes. We have this giant skull on the side and then as we come around we see our first character then our second character and some more kind of bones skulls and a bony hand there. This is actually really nice. The quality of the mug is nice. It's a nice size. I'm just not sure if I will personally use this. I don't know if this is one that I will give away just because I haven't read those books either so I'm not a part of the fandom and I feel like someone that is in that fandom would appreciate this so much more than I would. So we'll see what I do with this one. It is a beautiful mug though. Amazing quality. Just sadly not the fandom for me at this point in time. Oh next up we have an interesting item. It's a kind of case. So this is what it looks like and it says I like the imaginary people on the entertainment feed way more than I liked real ones and that is a quote by Martha Wells from a book that I probably haven't read because it seems like it's a sci-fi one but this is going to be something that is very handy for me probably oh my gosh the inside looks like this so it's like something you would use to travel with which will definitely be very very handy for me I love to travel I am trying to save money at the minute so that I can go traveling in the future because the last two years have obviously not been great we've been stuck at home and something like this is going to be really handy just to keep some loose items safe or some more expensive items safe as well okay so on here it says that that is a headphone case inspired by Murderbot but honestly I feel like you could use this for pretty much anything when you're traveling or just to kind of keep them safe in general. The artwork is by at hey atlas creative and it says this case is perfect for storing your headphones and chargers for whenever you need to ignore real people. Next up we have oh a fabric item which feels lovely. Let's see what this is. It is a pillowcase. I'm sorry you can't see me properly there but wow oh my gosh are you guys seeing this? This is beautiful. Wow, I'm absolutely in love with this. I'm not quite sure who the characters are, just on first glance, but let's look at the quote. So this is the other side. It says, you look like a winter night, I could sleep inside the cold of you. And that is a quote from Deathless by Catherine M. Valente, one that I haven't read yet. This is such a lovely item though. The colour scheme is fantastic. It reminds me of a V.E. Schwab. Again though, unfortunately, I don't know if this is one that I will actually use and display and put out there in my house. House. Just because I find it difficult to find insert for these sorts of pillows I really struggle to find them for two other pillows that I got in subscription boxes And I just had to use some that I had around the house So that's an issue and again, I feel like I can't fully appreciate this because I haven't read the book And I don't know what it's from so maybe someone else would appreciate it more again But we'll see I will be sad to see it go if I do get rid of this though because look how stunning this is you guys It is beautiful and I kind of want to read the book now just to see who these two are so that one it says like a winter night cushion cover artwork by at after blossom underscore art and it is designed by at chatty nora and it says get comfy with this gorgeous cushion cover inspired by deathless next up oh we have a little item that looks quite intriguing this is how it came in the box so let's just take the plastic off and see what's inside oh okay i think that this is actually a key ring which looks like this and is inspired by howl's moving castle i think i'm gonna offend a lot of people here by 
realizing that I've never watched that film and I've never read the book either. So once again, this is a nice item. I just don't think I will personally get any use out of it. But I'm sure that someone who is a fan of the Studio Ghibli movie or the book will enjoy this one. And then I believe that this is the last item and it is a nice one. It is a little notepad. Now this is one that I will definitely get some use out of. It has this beautiful border on it with an owl at the top. Now I'm gonna give you guys a fun little kind of fact here. My family are obsessed with owls. It's because my nine and my tide used to call each other goody who and goody ha, which in Welsh is just the male and female equivalent of an owl. So a cute little pet name and the owl theme has kind of carried on through my family. Speaking of, I do actually have an owl charm on my Pandora here because of that. So my mum, my sister and I all have this little owl charm. You will see owls throughout all of our houses, especially my mum's. She is absolutely obsessed. My auntie's was the same. And so I really enjoy this item. I really like it. It's quite sentimental for me because of that. It holds a nice meaning for me and I do think this is one that I will use regularly. Right guys, we have finally made it to the most exciting part of this box, which is of course the book of the month. As I mentioned previously, I do know what the book in here is going to be. However, I don't have any clue what it's going to look like. So this is going to be a nice surprise for all of us. Oh my gosh, straight away <laughs> though. I can see these beautiful sprayed edges. Look at those, you guys. I am already obsessed. I know this is going to be absolutely gorgeous. So without further ado, let's just see the book itself. Oh wow, okay. I actually love it. And this is Yep, yeah, just as beautiful as I thought it was going to be. So the book of the month is Gallant by V.E. Schwab. We have the stunning sprayed edges on the top as I showed you. We have this stencil design on here and then on the bottom we have a different one. So we have kind of vines there instead of the roses at the top. Let's see what else we have. So I'm just going to take off the dust jacket. We have this foil design printed on the book itself. We also have this creepy art on the end pages. And I did actually think that this was going to be signed, but I cannot see a signature anywhere on this, which is fine. I may have missed that we weren't getting one, but I thought we were. So I have just gotten up to grab the copy of Gallants that I already had, just to kind of show you guys the similarities and differences. This is the Waterstones exclusive edition and obviously this one is the Illumicrate edition. So straight away you can see that the covers are different. I actually think I prefer the Illumicrate one for some reason. I can't quite put my finger on why. Maybe because it seems more simplistic, minimalistic, whereas this one is more in your face. The Waterstones one has this design embossed on the front cover. It has these end pages and a bonus for this one, it is also signed by V. Schwab too. The stenciled edges are kind of similar as well. So we have this one at the top, then this design, and then this one at the bottom. So all in all, these two are pretty similar. It's just a few little tweaks in the design of the books and the colour as well. I don't know which one I prefer. I think I do prefer the overall look of this one and the sprayed edges. It just would have been so nice to have this signed. But then again, I do also love the end pages on the Waterstones one too. So I am glad that I got both because I was debating cancelling my order for the Waterstones one because I knew that the Illumicrate great one was coming but I am a collector of V Schwab's books. I do have different editions. You can't quite see it's just out of frame but I have a V Schwab shelf here. I have some of her books up on this shelf as well because she is a favourite author of mine. I've loved every single book of hers that I've read so far. All of her editions are stunning as you can see with these two and I just think it's going to be really nice having both of these on my shelves. So that is why I didn't cancel my Waterstones order. I wanted to see what the similarities and differences would be but I do love how kind of sleek and detailed the Illumicrate edition is as opposed to the more in your face Waterstones edition. So I love both but I do still think that Illumicrate has topped it with this one. The synopsis of this reads 16 year old Olivia Pryor is missing three things. A mother, a father and a voice. Her mother vanished all at once. Her father by degrees and her voice was a thing she never had to start with. Her only companions are the ghouls she sees and her mother's journal which captured a mind in turmoil. Near the end of her time at Maryland School for Girls, Olivia receives a letter from an uncle she's never met, summoning her to his estate, Gallant. But when she arrives she discovers that the letter was years late. Her uncle is dead and the estate is empty, save for her cousin Matthew and the servants. Olivia is permitted to remain but must follow two rules. Don't go out after dusk and always stay on the right side of the crumbling wall. But Gallant is a house of secrets, a house sitting in lonely vigil, a place where the ghouls are powerful. As Olivia searches for answers about her family and her past, she discovers a dark reflection of everything she knew. An ancient realm where ghosts take form and the dark master sits waiting for her. Doesn't that just sound amazing you guys? 
I cannot wait to read this one and I think I will have to do so soon even though I was debating saving this till October time I feel like this is one that will just suck me in straight away it will help me get out of a reading slump I'm currently in and will just make me fall back in love with reading so this is definitely a high priority for me I'm so glad to have this stunning Illumicrate edition now which is going to look fantastic on my Beauty Schwab shelf and then on the back of the spoiler card we do have a sneak peek for next month's box and I'm just gonna pop this here so you can pause it and read through it if you'd like to get a more in-depth look at it or you can check out the Illumicrate Instagram which does have the monthly reveals with a bit of information on there about the theme of the box and the fandoms that are included. This was a bit of a weird box for me as you saw. I did like two out of three of the items and these are items that I will use regularly. The other three though I'm just not too sure on. I'm not a part of the fandom so I'm not as excited as other people might be whilst opening these items that I have actually reached out to Illumicrate to ask if I can go for a book only option for this subscription service instead of getting the box with all the items. I used to love getting the items but I've just found recently that I have so many things that I'm just never going to use and they take up so much space in the house where someone else could be enjoying them so I've taken the decision to email them and request a book only option. They got back to me pretty quickly and said that unfortunately at the minute there is no space on the book only option but they said that they've added me to the waiting list and when a spot pops up they will just put that through instead of the monthly box. So by summertime guys, I'm not going to have the lovely yellow box to unbox for you. It's just going to be the book of the month and I feel like that will be a lot better for me. Please do let me know though if you would still like an unboxing video for that or maybe you would want a joint unboxing video where I unbox the fairy loot and a Lumicrate book in one video. I think that might be the route that I go down but unfortunately items in subscription boxes just aren't doing it for me anymore. It's so hard to get excited for them when you're not part of the fandoms and so that is a big part of why I've decided Decided to go for the book only options now. Please do let me know what you thought of this box though down in the comments and if you've made it this far into the video please do leave me a rose emoji down in the comments as well. I say it all the time but seeing you guys comment the emoji of the video truly means the world to me. I just can't fathom the fact that people want to sit through and watch an entire video by me. It is truly mind-blowing but I appreciate it so so much so please go ahead and do that if you're still here. Whilst you're down in the comments please don't forget to click the like button if you like this video and the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from me Thank you guys so so much for watching. It truly does mean the world to me and I will see you soon in my next video. Goodbye